to the Young Content Show. Inside of my head, I go far away. My thoughts are better inside. We can let it play. I'm tired of chasing the bread. Looking for a bear. What's it gonna be? Call me to wrap my whole life up. All we could do is just try to put all the pieces together. Always don't mean it's forever I wasn't meaning to bore you I fought the demons before you Treat it like a video game Every level feeling the same I've been working day to day to day to day to day Give me one reason I'll stay uh -huh. Reason I pray so hard Reason I made it so far Why we gotta make it so hard Peace, beloved. Peace. It's your homie, Young Content, the unofficial sensei of the culture, mastering youthfulness, contentment, hiya, and NFTs. I uh, did that a little too early. What's going on, beloved? Peace, beloved. Peace. How's your mind? How's your energy? You already know where you're at right now. DD Dojo. Get your $1 bills. Get ready to throw it at me. And uh, you already know we're doing it live. Once you're in the show, this is episode 120 with uh, 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 Espresso. Oh, I, I, I got to get the full name right. We're, we're, he's here. He's safe in the dojo. But uh, I got to We do it live. We'll do it live. Let me turn this off. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can all write it and we'll do it live. Absolutely. No way. No, uh, no better way than to do it live, beloved. Uh, I got a legend in the chat. Walshy. He says, yee, uh, with his epic coda PFP. Uh, I know you're happy about that uh, Blizzard announcement, Walsh. How you doing, beloved? Um, happy that uh, you're here. Shout out to Hit Money Yeet. Let's tell the homie Expresso to bring his entire gang so we could talk about this uh, crypto cafe in Mexico City. Um, do they take Bitcoin? Do they do they take Solana? Soul? Do they, they shade Soul? Who knows? What's up, Mitch? Is that gutter, Mitch? I don't know. What's up, beloved? Thank you for joining the, the today's stream, uh, episode 120 of Live with the Sensei. Uh, tell your grandma if she misses this, she can watch, uh, she can listen to the audio of the podcast on Apple, Google, all the links in the description on YouTube and Twitter, Twitch, Theta, Theta TV. Um, yeah, guys, end of the year. Hope you're uh, relaxing. Uh, you got some eggnog. Just, just soaking in, soak, soaking in all the stuff that you have com accomplished this year. If you didn't accomplish too much, uh, the, finish strong. The way you begin the end this year is the way you begin the next. So, uh, I believe in you. I know you're creating stuff. As long as you continue to create, continue to be righteous, um, smoke weed, whatever you want to do. Not gutter, Mitch. Try my best to stay out of the gutter. Doesn't always work, but here I'm here today. Gut you're, you're gutter, Mitch. You could just say it, dude. I'm just joking. Thank you for being here. Uh, without further ado. Let's bring in uh, Espresso or Shane. What up, dude? Yo, yo, uh, content was good. You call me the wrong name, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> young, 
Young content, man. My bad, my bad. I just Young content. I was just joking, bud. Did I, did I uh, say the name right? Shane? Anthony? Anthony Shane? Exactly. And Zero Espresso. Zero Espresso. I thought, it, you know, the, the, it, it was like an Ethereum first name. You know what I mean? Ethereum's first four letters is the O and the X, whatever Ethereum uh, exactly. hash. Exactly. That's what we were going for. First off, how's your mind? How's your energy? Thank you for coming to the dojo. Uh, feeling good. Excited for the holidays. Looking forward to close this year out and start next year fresh. Nice. For those that don't know what the, the uh, uh, Zero Espresso does, uh, or you, give them the spiel, man. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so we're building a, a crypto cafe here in Mexico City. Uh, it's kind of where it all begins. We have plans to kind of make this global, but um, uh, this is where I'm where I'm stationed and uh, kind of want to start here. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, potential here in Latin America, so we feel like it's a good place to set up shop and kind of roll out our, our future plans. Um, so yeah, a uh, little bit about me. Um, kind of got involved in uh, crypto pretty early. Uh, found out about Bitcoin back in 2015. Uh, really started digging into it back in 2017. Uh, did okay. Didn't, you know, go to the moon or anything, but uh, it kept me running for a little while. Uh, got introduced to NFTs back in 2021, early 2021 on the WAX blockchain. Oh, you uh, were that guy, by... huh? You were on the WAX. Holy shit. That guy. You were on Pogs. Yeah. Pogging it. Yeah, I wish I had to found ETH a little bit earlier, but I uh, bought my first ETH NFT back uh, October of 21. And ever since then, it's just been kind of all in. Uh, do you, do you take hustling. wax at the cafe? We're going to take everything. So like, uh, if it's crypto, uh, a million we'll wax is going to get me a decaf coffee. No doubt. For sure. <laughs> no Hit doubt. Money Eat says, uh, I'm going to call you decaf jokes. What's up, Espresso? You're getting what's up? Special K says, hi. Uh, sheesh. Yes. Um, so... Let's, Wax let's, will be uh, accepted at this establishment. Everything. We'll figure out a way. So, uh, why coffee, man? You just are you just closer to the the greatest coffee beans in human history in Mexico? I mean, Mexico City's up there. They're like number nine on the the list of uh, uh, producers in the world. So we've got good coffee. Um, the thing for me was um, okay, okay. Like it's just something a lot okay. of people connect with, and uh, I mean. The experience, not necessarily drinking coffee for me, but the experience of being in a cafe, the ambiance, the atmosphere, and just the people there, it kind of, kind of fit for me. Nice. A lot of these cafes, man, they're like gentrified as fuck, and they have like a lot of like people just like not connecting. Are you trying to bring in that connection? I mean, crypto and NFTs already do that. You know, once you get a, a two NFT people in the room, they start jargoning while well, this crazy jargon. Totally. Exactly. Yeah, we, we want to build a space that's, you know, for us crypto folks. Uh, there's nothing really out there that's tailored for us. And, uh, you know, when I go out, I want to go somewhere that I can feel comfortable or it's something that I enjoy. So we want to kind of build that for everyone and um, just this worldwide network that we can kind of bring it face to face. So is the cafe built or being process of being built? Are you doing like a raise? Like what's what's the drill? Yeah, so we're going to be doing a Founders Pass Mint. Um, uh, it's going to be early Q2 of next year. Um, it's going to be on Ethereum. Uh, the mint price is going to be somewhere around $150. Uh, but that's pretty much going to give you access to everything that we're building, our entire ecosystem. But um, that uh, the mint is pretty much going to fund uh, the entire endeavor. Uh, we've got everything kind of planned out right now as far as allocation for uh, the funds from the mint, but the goal is to have the cafe up and running by the end of next year. Yeah, you came highly recommended by uh, uh, OG in the game. I'm pretty sure, you know, hopefully you're not a slow rug, are you? No, not at like all. A, like a not long, drawn out rug <laughs> here? Definitely not. We're in it for the long run up. Like I said, I've been in crypto forever and uh, it's just what I'm passionate about. And I kind of want to share that with um, people I come in contact with and just help build the community on a different level. I mean, everybody's building to some aspect. Uh, everyone's building more on the digital front. Uh, we kind of want to make a place for the builders and for those people. That's what's up. That's what's up. I like that. I like that. I can dig it. I can dig it. Um, let me give you the oof for that. Um, <laughs> so the spot you're building, where is it going to be? Does Do the people dig it? Or the people are like, nah, 
Have you talked to the community? Are you just saying, who cares? Because it's an entrepreneurial <laughs> effort. Like, what's the yeah, drill of the, the region? The How they with feel? It. Yeah, they're totally with it. Uh, we've been talking to just uh, different people. Uh, we go to cafes around the city pretty much every weekend and uh, do a little bit of market research. And uh, everyone we've talked to is, is definitely interested and definitely thinks there's a place for it. Uh, cafes and retail, all that is blowing up in Mexico City right now. Um, they're kind of behind the states a little bit. I know in the states, it's a little bit of retail apocalypse. Uh, Mexico City is just kind of blowing up on that aspect. So uh, a lot of people, a lot of demand. Um, coffee is is almost like a staple here. Um, so yeah, we haven't really gotten any kind of kickback and just good responses and good vibes about it. You ever had a, like a really spicy burrito with a black coffee in the morning? Is that like a thing? Uh, burrito and coffee i can't say i have but i've i've had some dude the mexican food down here is incredible I, that's all i eat now if i come into your cafe and dip in my bean burrito in your coffee you cool with that right it's, dude we're dgens at the end of the day right can you can you hopefully you can carry a bean juice i want to see a bean juice in there yeah, we could probably make bean that water <laughs> <laughs> just chuck yeah, that might come into our derivatives uh project a little bit when we take ips and kind of bring them into the physical world through coffee for sure uh walshi um i remember you walshi telling me about a cafe that you knew about uh maybe you could give me the update wash in the chat uh but guys i'm, I'm waiting to give um zero espresso uh, the the epic sheesh sound effect uh i'm pretty sure Let's he's go. gonna he's gonna uh, he's gonna have to like really work me to get that sound effect for sure um, how, <laughs> how did you know ben noble man he, you come highly recommended by a, a good friend of mine yeah so um <clears throat> excuse me uh so i was working uh full time in the uh auto collision industry for about 13 years and uh at that time uh towards the end of my career the last half of it uh my wife and i uh she was living down here in mexico city i was in the states and uh i was traveling back and forth um uh, the amount of times it was crazy uh so was looking to do something different um collision Auto collision wasn't my passion, uh, didn't make me happy. I mean, you deal with people that are unhappy on a pretty consistent basis. Uh, so it wasn't really uh, good for me. Um, so started looking for ways to get out, uh, started applying for uh, every crypto opportunity that I could come across and um, multiplied at the time. Uh, now Howl uh, reached back to me and gave me a shot, um, connected with Ben and kind of put everything on the line. and um just you know kind of want to promise that i would you know learn everything i can and work as hard as i could and uh, i think i've held up my part of the deal and uh since then yeah it's just been working uh with ben and the team at uh how labs now are you going with a slow mint supply like supply are you going to go with like ten thousand? Uh, hopefully you thought this through what are you thinking in the, in the in yeah the for sure bear? uh the number we've got set is 4k it's going to be a 4k supply uh we've we like that number because it's not too big it's not too small um uh with the the mint price and all that it kind of allocates enough funds for us to take care of everything that we want to accomplish okay you got you got any retro shit that you're gonna put in there because if you ain't putting a, a nes or a sega in that cafe i don't know oh man what are you gonna so put what's some retro ideas you have I, i'm digging the neon vibe right now uh we kind of we're redoing the branding a little bit to kind of gear towards that a little bit but um, yeah, we definitely want to have some, it's all going to be about built on experiences. Uh, so it's not just a cafe. We kind of use the cafe word pretty lightly. Um, it's more of a social hub that we can kind of plug in all these different uh, experiences. So whether it's, you know, you want to come there and hang out and game a bit and, you know, grab a laptop or a gaming laptop that we might have on deck and- Or maybe like, a, like and, or do a, an, maybe as a seller in there, you could have some like, cool retro shit some like physical nft physicals real retro no doubt yeah we're planning to plug in a little gallery so we'll definitely have art on display physical digital um you know every, if if you're a web3 person and there's something that you like about this space we want to incorporate it into this cafe that's what's to, up. to some extent have you uh been out to some of these irl events you know your nft nyc's your nft la's i mean you expect that we yeah. would have a cafe in the states uh, what do you think that is due to just, uh, cause um, I would go to that. If my city had a cafe yeah, where I can hang out happen. with degenerates, like, come on now. 
it, it's going to happen. I, I saw there was one in West Palm Beach that maybe started and failed, but I, I think you got to go by, beyond the coffee. I mean, coffee, anybody can sell coffee. I think it, you have to build, it's all about building these relationships and meaningful connections and kind of taking it a little bit further, kind of like the, the Web3 and, you know, the ethos of crypto. For sure. Um, what, which, so what's your take on some of this like stuff that's happening in NFTs? Um, what's uh, your hottest take, you think? What, what, what is this something you learned in this bear about NFTs that you didn't know in the bull market? Uh, I, I'm amazed to, to see just the quality projects that are legitimately building. Um, on the PR side, we get to work with some amazing companies that uh, are legitimately doing like really good stuff. And uh, that's like amazing to just be a part of that and just help these uh, communities grow and get the word out about, you know, these products and services that we believe in. Any uh, project sticks out to you? Any alpha, uh, any APO? Alpha plays <sighs> alpha, alpha. Nothing really alpha wise that sticks out to me. Um, one of my favorite projects that I work with that we work with is Smart Token Labs, and they're kind of doing like real world integrations uh, through tokens. Uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we're we're looking into uh, some of these things like derivatives uh, through tokens and just uh, what you can kind of do with them. Uh, a lot of different options, but just right now it's just it's cool because I'm just kind of rolling up all these experiences and what I've learned and trying to plug it into Zero Espresso and and uh, you know good, bad, and all of the ugly that we've seen and just trying to take the best out of it. I love that. You have a, a fan, a, a homie, hit here saying, "I'm biased because I know Shane, but the dude generally <laughs> cares about crypto values, and I'm so confident that will shine through as he grows into his own gig and makes it happen." I lost so much ETH on NFTs. Damn. Sorry, bro. We I'm just have. joking. I don't mean to laugh at your pain, T. Will. Thank you for still being here. <laughs> uh, we gotta laugh sometimes, homie. You know what I mean? Hearts in the chat. Shane. No uh, doubt for Shane and T will you didn't lose nothing, bro, especially if you could get a free cup of coffee. So if I get a if I buy the pass, I get some cup of coffee. Like, what do I get for that? Yeah, for sure. A ton of stuff. Um, mm. You're going to get a founder's pass badge. Sweeten the deal uh, for me. The sensei, you feel me. Yeah. Oh, man, I got you. Don't worry about that. But <laughs> for everybody else, we, we got a list of stuff that, you know, comes with the pass. Um, you're going to get uh, exclusive merchandise. Uh, we're working on some stuff behind the scenes as far as merch and um, apparel, uh, physical stuff. We want to try to back everything that we do on the on the NFT digital side by something physical, whether it's the cafe on the Founders Pass or um, our derivative blends that are going to be physically backed coffees. Um, so you're going to get discounted merchandise on or discounts on all of our merchandise, our coffee, uh, discounts on upcoming collections, uh, special only. We're kind of talking about this. It's not fully set in stone. But um, we want to find a way where we can do a founders only pool and give you the ability to pretty much stake your pass for additional rewards. Um, things along those lines are you're going to get access to the Zero Espresso DAO. Um, we haven't really set the terms on the DAO, but uh, we know it's going to be there. And uh, I need, I need you to fact, create a fucking uh, a coffee. You know, I got a, I got, I got, some, I'm, a, I'm a little wellness hippie. I need like a back in the bath with like coffee grounds and I could just <laughs> dip my body in the coffee grounds, bro. For real. We'll do an kidding. exclusive blend for the Young Content show. I'm done. We'll make that happen. <laughs> Derivative off your NFT. There's a, a, a project over there in Mexico, Karak Mule. It's a jungle over there in Mexico. And uh, they literally just did an NFT raise and now are like restoring that jungle and also teaching women and children like really hands on skills and then using importing, exporting product from this Amazing. beautiful, like luscious region of Karak Mule, Mexico, the jungle. You guys honestly should talk um, that, that you uh, you and them fuse together on some cool, uh, like changing the world narrative. That's really cool. I should get you in touch with them. No doubt. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Awesome. We're, Real uh, humanitarian we're definitely to make connections. Absolutely. Here like, in Mexico City. Are you trying to get hands on with humanitarian shit? Do you want to? I mean, if you're a crypto person, you obviously have a, you know, egalitarian kind of soul, maybe if you if you hold true um you, no you have that you got you have that want to help the world so yeah absolutely ever since i was a, a young kid i used to uh, in baptist church we used to do a lot of uh volunteer work helping out so that's kind of how i was brought up so 
kind of just continue that through through the business and what we intend to do. Cool. Uh, do you have uh, people, partners and people that are helping you with this project? Yeah, we've got a ton of support. Um, we've got a lot of fragmented support from just connections that I've made uh, through my time in the space. Uh, we've got five people on the team right now. Um, we've got a, a co-founder, uh, Alec, who uh, he's been in the Web3 game for a little while. Um, I'm sure you'll you'll hear about him in the future. And uh, my Why wife is on board. Why is he not in the chat, board. man? Tell him to come to the chat. I want to see. Uh, I he see works him. full time and he does uh, he does glass in the okay. auto glass, so he's he's slammed. Okay. Um, and no they're excuse. they're busy, so yeah, we'll let him slide on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, my. Uh, my wife's on board. She's kind of helping us out uh, on the business side, just uh, wherever she can uh, help out. She's got a lot of experience in law and um, uh, government stuff here in Mexico City. And then uh, I've got a, uh, a CFO on board. Uh, he, um, he works for Uber right now in Latin America. He's a senior account rep. And then uh, we've got a Web3 marketing and okay, um, okay. NFT advisor okay. on board as well, Danny. That's so what's solid up. team. And I then, yeah, it. we've got the we've got the support of Howl Labs, and they've been incredible. Ben and Ben and the whole team have been amazing. Yeah, man. Howl, honestly, when that project does come out, I'm so bullish on the the the, the connections of Ben and also the the integrity of Ben and uh, just the story just the storytelling uh, there. I uh, yeah, totally. I was looking at like the you know the the boom of the internet and how like uh andreessen horowitz andreessen mark andreessen was on time magazine just straight up with a, doing like just with no no shoes on on a throne straight looking like a nerd and <laughs> and i was talking to someone today about some of these events a lot of these events are like sneaker kids meet nerds and it's like a hip andreessen uh kind of vibe yeah i could see that and uh for the, I, I just say all that because pioneering, you know, Mark Andreessen didn't know that all this shit would turn out, you know, fucking PFP pictures and crypto cafes. Um, yeah, man, we uh, we we definitely stand on the shoulders of giants here. Yeah, totally. I, I think there's just a, a big opportunity for these in real life businesses to integrate crypto and Web3 and just uh, to be able to connect uh, to their consumers and uh, fans on another level really excited what, what what's your take on like uh being targeted in mexico in a sense of like okay th that's a crypto place that accepts crypto like how, how do you think about that yeah um there's some stuff to work around for sure uh you've got to know the right people uh so you don't get bothered but um as far as you know us standing out i think it, it definitely helps uh, there's nothing really like it around. There's a there's a, there's a Bitcoin uh, bar in Mexico City that we've been to once. They've got they only accept Bitcoin, um, so I think they're kind of limiting themselves a bit. But uh, there's definitely opportunities here, and people are definitely curious about it. Uh, so I, I think we're in a good place. Nice. Is there any way to like do the um, the POF system where you can? accept currency and then that currency doesn't have to stay in that spot i guess it all goes into your wallet right that's maybe it could be somewhere else as far as taking the payments yeah taking the payments yeah so we've looked at uh, a few different systems uh bitcoin is easy accepting bitcoin is pretty straightforward um most of these stuff is pretty straightforward uh yeah i don't really think we're going to run into any issues as far as accepting the stuff and at the end of the day if if someone comes off with a, a strange crypto or something we've never heard of it, I mean, it's just a matter of getting a wallet, I guess. Absolutely. Hey, chat, uh, let me know any alpha you guys have. Uh, so maybe we can discuss it. Uh, I saw today that $65,000 came into gut hates NFTs. Massive sweep. Um, fuck render buys a Huxley robot and humans. Uh, I know Andrew Daniels, you're probably seeing stuff in Mexico City because you're in the crypto real estate w world. So GG to you, beloved. Um, what else are we seeing? Trump NFTs going crazy. It's like, nah, they're at 0.3. Should have bought them shits. I'll hook you up with block spaces. <laughs> Lightning payments connected to QuickBooks. You hear that? Andrew T. Daniels. He's a part of the dojo. I got to give the dojo sound again. Andrew T. says, I'll hook you up with block spaces. Lightning 
network payments connected to QuickBooks. Do you need that? Let's go. Hook me up. So talk, get, get with my people who get with your people. You feel me? Um, do that. Uh, shout out to uh, what any, anyone's looking at right now. That's cool. Um, how was Mexico, man? Like living there and like integrating. It, it's It's been a blast. Uh, like I said, I've been coming back and forth to Mexico probably for the last five years, um, but kind of made it permanent this past year. It, it's been great. There's so much culture here. Uh, the people are incredible, super nice. The food is amazing. Uh, it's just so much to do. It's such a massive, massive city with so many people. Um, but yeah, I've never had a bad experience here. Never felt unsafe. Um, it's all been good. Everything's been good. I love that. Is it sunny out there? Or is that you just your studio? Uh, yeah, it's pretty beautiful here all year round. Uh, right now it's the dry season, so it stays like 75 during the day and uh, it gets a little chilly at night, like 50s. But yo, is it the sun yeah, is really. out right now? Yeah, it's still still sunny. We've got a, probably another hour and a half before it starts to oh, get yeah, dark. Oh, yeah, because it's fucking pitch black over here. Holy smokes. You're so lucky <laughs> to be in there. I see the sun in your eyes. Holy smokes. Um, so, how, so you have a wife, right? Yeah, I've got a wife and a three-year-old daughter. Nice. How, what's your wife mean to you in this whole process? Like, uh, She's just kind of been uh, support through, through, through it all. Uh, just been there to tell me to keep going and... You know, if I want to do it, just do it and get it done. Um, it's a little rough sometimes, but it kind of keeps you on the right track. I love that. I love that. Did anyone ever tell you you kind of look like a like a brown Doug? You ever seen Doug, the cartoon? <laughs> Doug Funny. Doug Funny, bro. You kind of actually look like Doug Funny a little bit. I might do a meme mock-up of that. Yo, for real. What uh, what energy <laughs> are you collecting right now, man? Anything? Uh... Yeah, so we, uh, my probably, my favorite NFT that I've recently collected is probably Oni Force. Uh, I've been eyeing that community for a long time, and uh, we recently uh, scooped one of those up. Uh, market seems pretty good, and they look like they're on the right track to do some pretty cool things. And uh, maybe it's a little alpha, but uh, that's going to be our first derivative project uh, for coffee that we're going to be releasing. It's going to be our Oni Force blend. Oh, uh, so we, we've got that in the works. Um, yeah, uh, not sure if you're familiar with the Lizard Lab uh, and non fungible Momo, but uh, he's been uh, he's been killing it in the space, just non stop. What's his uh, Open Sea? Uh, the Lizard Lab, uh, Lizard Lab NFT, I believe. Lizard Lab NFT. But uh, yeah, they've got some cool PFP art. Um, they've just they've got a lot of uh, utility for their community as far as alpha and. Um, Nice. Yeah, he's, he's built some cool stuff in their Discord. And uh, he's been just nonstop at it for as long as I can remember. Nice. Do you, um, fuck, what I was going to tell you. Uh, I love that. I love that Oni Force could probably make a comeback. Um, take some of that Azuki share. You feel me? I'm tired of Azuki seeing that shit. I need, I need, I need y'all to pull, uh, so, uh, Oni to pull some of that share away. And yeah, I've got faith. Say again. I've got a little bit of faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard they're doing do some cool stuff, man. I heard they're doing some cool stuff. It's a, it's hard to weed the chaff from the the actual fruit, the fruit from the fucking rotten fruit, right now. Uh, so it's like super important that uh, you know, I do my due diligence to get the right people on the team. Uh, you said yeah, your just... project's gonna be, uh, 150, so around 0 0.08, 0 0.07, 0 .0. Yeah, whatever he says at the time, but yeah, we're kind of pegging it to 150 dollars. And uh, yeah, we feel like uh, it's going to be, I'm not saying easy, but relatively easy for us to, to drive that value back to the user. Um, we've already done that with some of our community members uh, through giveaways and uh, we're doing free claims for uh, certain people. If you meet certain qualifications and you're active and engaged, uh, you've got a lot of opportunities. So we're, we're going to try to give back as much as we can. For sure. Guys, how do you like your coffee in the chat? We got five more minutes. Uh, tell me how you like your fucking coffee, okay? Please, please. I need to know how I like your coffee. I need how much, I know how much weirdos I have on the chat. Um, do you like your coffee with liquor in it? Do you like your coffee with um, herbal blend? Do you like your coffee with tea leaves in it? How do you like your coffee? Uh, I'm an espresso guy. Double shot espresso. Nice. Uh, maybe a little bit of cream. 
You're cracked out. Holy shit. Special case looks yeah, strong. Yeah. Andrew T says black. Little sugar. No cream. I don't drink coffee or energy drinks, fam. Damn, you're fucking <laughs> optimized. Optimized as human. I drink soy flat white or just espresso. Prefer espresso, but doesn't last long enough. Man, holy smoke. I drink soy flat white. What is that? That sounds amazing. That sounds weird, too. I don't know. Soy flat white? What does that mean? <laughs> Uh, flat white is a type of espresso drink, and that would be made with soy milk. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, dude, this been this has been great. You know, uh, my show uh, in January is going to be thirty minutes top. So, I mean, this fits it well. Uh, I feel like uh, did we miss anything? I think we got all the good points. Come check us out. We're doing a lot of giveaways. We got a lot of stuff cool uh, happening. So, how do they check you out? Uh, let's see. Best way would be t- uh, Twitter, uh, Zero Espresso, and then uh, we've also got a link three. Uh, it's going to be link three. To slash Zero Espresso. Yeah, I got your tag right there charge. next to your face right here in the in the graphic. So you guys make sure you follow him. Also check out the YouTube. Um, this is the part of the show, man. I don't know if you watch the show. Probably you should watch it uh, because it's amazing. Well, this is the part I give you the gong. I don't know. You know what the gong is? Uh, refresh me. The gong is a whole a holy sound of the dojo. Okay, this is uh, when when you play it, the frequency resonates to your fucking body, and you have to tell the truth. All right, whatever that truth may be. So I'm gonna give you the gong right right now. Do it. Hold on, I'm gonna give you the gong again, and uh, you have the floor. Cool. Uh, Yeah, I mean we're uh, we're doing this to to build community. Um, we feel really strongly about that. Uh, we're kind of dug in deep. Um, we want to bring crypto to the masses and we want to do it through something, uh, people can connect, uh, easily through such as coffee. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're building something really cool. We're going to be here for the long run and, uh, yeah, just come check us out. Uh, maybe we think about collaborating, you know what I mean? I got to, I, I, you know, Cheech is my uncle, I cook you up. You know, get you the get you the weed THC strains. You feel me? All that jazz. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, I really appreciate your time on this one, man. Uh, episode 120. Um, come back anytime. Uh, you know, we've covered the gamut of so many different ideas. Um, lastly, if you could be a human, robot, or alien, which is you going to be? Alien. Alien. Organic. Yeah. Sheesh, you could be fucking really slimy, bro. And just, you know, you see some of these aliens that just have two tentacles. <laughs> or I could be like me. Oh, shit. He might be an alien. I, f- I really wish <laughs> I... Hold on. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Uh, live the dream, eat ice cream, and above all, stay content. Later, uh, later, Shane. Peace. Thanks, young. Yeah, and I still shoot from the logo How you get this far off a photo? They just always gon' hate what they don't know All this seeds like what I need a bag for yeah. Running to these plays, no hassle Couldn't spend what I spent on gas though Now she wanna pull me in, no lasso With a bottom my Claire, it didn't match though Shit, man, you wanna act like an asshole Man, you wanna burn this cat sight Knew that fella and I got it from sight Just started this shit and I feel like I'm like to get my neck frozen He's down in his damn foot every night I'm fucking holding had to take these L's for me to get this focus <laughs> Might collect the pick that I can buy your home with All this AP always saw the dojo dojo And I'm sure you wanna take a photo Say you ain't going, you don't take risks That's why you don't fall for fun